On today's video, I'll be attempting to do something with this old beat up Thomas Snare. But first, a word from the sponsor, Apogee. Sam and I, this is Sam by the way, he's been mixing all my videos recently. Him and I have been checking out some plugins from Apogee. My favorite is probably the Clear Mountains Spaces Reverb plugin, which you'll hear later on in this video. But we also use the Mod Comp Modern Compressor Limiter, Mod EQ 6 Band Equalizer, and the Opto 3A Vintage Compressor Limiter. So, lucky for you, Apogee is running their 4th of July sale over the next coming week on their plugins, plus on B stock and refurbished items. Plugins are 40% off, and B stock items are up to 50% off. So, if you're in need of some fresh plugins or a new to you interface and want to save some cash, then be sure to check out the Apogee 4th of July sale by following the link in the description. Now, let's see if these plugins can make this old crusty snare sound good. So this is a Tama King beat. I've owned two of these in my life actually, and this is what they're supposed to look like. Shiny chrome, parallel strainer, a nice fat tone control knob, die cast hoops, and honestly these are pretty solid drums. This one though, well, it's basically missing everything, including the chrome plating. This is not a copper shell, but in order for the chrome to stick better to steel, they typically do a layer of copper or some other metal, so I don't know how this happened or what caused it to peel off, but I think it looks kind of cool. So as you could guess, the plan is to complete this drum and make it functional, but spoiler, I do not have any of the proper hardware for this drum, so I may have to get a little creative. These lugs are actually off of a Rogers Super 10, which was a parts drum I had for some other projects. I basically stole everything off that drum except for the lugs, so they're going onto this shell because they fit. I was most scared about finding a throw off and butt plate that would work for this drum since the King Beats have a parallel strainer so there's three holes to mount it and then a fourth for the rod to go through. So I tried every throw off that I have but this one which is from an old Tama Piccolo barely fits on it and it's kind of bent but I'm confident I can make it work. Before this can go on, you can see that there's two tapped holes on this bracket. And then on the back of this piece, you can see there's a slot. So if I had to guess, there's some screws that go in through the back side and then into this, which hold it in place and better align it. I have these screws from a Yamaha O Custom, which happen to fit on this bracket. Then I have two options for the butt plate. This is a pearl, but it doesn't quite fit, so I would have to drill out the holes just a touch. Then I have this one, which is just a generic butt plate, which the holes do not line up at all, so I would have to drill new ones, but this would cover the old ones. I'm going with the pearl since it's a very close fit. I just need to oval out these two holes to make it work. And at this point, I was tired of looking at the extra holes, so I used some old air vents to make them look intentional. I also realized at this point it makes sense to switch out these Phillips screws on the butt plate with a key head, since that's what's on the throw off and makes it a lot more convenient. For the muffler, I do have a proper Tama muffler that will fit on this drum, but these things are honestly impossible to find, so I really don't want to waste it on this drum. So instead, let's dive into the muffler box. So funny enough, I just found this knob, which I actually think is, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is an actual Tama knob, so might as well use this. I just did some more digging and found this, which is part of an actual Tama internal muffler, but as you can see, it's broken. But I think if I just cut this uh, this arm off right here, then I have this little plate that I can put on the inside, and that will cover the two extra screws. 
I'm happy with that. Now we're on to the final stretch. We need some tension rods. I have a mess of tension rods from various projects from over the years, so I just pulled out 20 of those. And also, I wanted to add a touch of color, so I used these Hendrix tension rod sleeves. I just don't know if orange was the right choice. The snare side rim was in my pile of hoops. I really don't know what drum it came from, but it was the right size and the right number of holes, so it'll work. And same thing with the batter side, but this is actually a Tama hoop, so that's kind of cool. This is an old set of Pure Sounds. I picked these since the copper ends have a bit of age, much like the shell. For the straps, of course, I had to keep with the orange theme, and whenever you cut straps at an angle like this, you get an immediate plus 10 style points. And just like that, the drum is done. 